dog. Why do I gotta get so, up so early for these things, man? Anyways. What's up, guys? It's, it's me, again. Yeah, I haven't made videos in quite a long time, but, uh, you know I had to make an Oscars reaction video. Um, I'm up early, I got a latte, I got a muffin, and I got Oscar nominations to react to. So, I didn't do as much pre-gaming as I did last year. Um, I only saw a handful of films. Uh, some of the ones I didn't see, I can't remember right now, but I'm gonna flash them on the screen. There you go. But yeah, um, expectations, immediate wants, the holdovers is probably gonna get a lot of love, so. Um, you know what? Let's just start, stop yapping, and just get into it. Let's, For best please. performance by an actor in a supporting role, Sterling K. Brown in American Fiction. Yeah. That makes sense. Robert De Niro mm -hmm. in Killers of the Flower Moon. Robert Downey <coughs> Jr. Yes! in Oppenheimer. Guys, I don't think you quite understand how much I want RDJ to get this freaking Oscar. <laughs> like, look at his face and tell me you wouldn't want to hear that speech. Uh, I'm not going to be pausing it that, like, that often, but I just need to tell you that. I, like, my life depends on RDJ getting this Oscar. <laughs> Ryan Gosling in yep. We knew he was going to come down to it. And Mark Ruffalo. And Mark Ruffalo. All right. Thing. No surprises there. The nominees for achievement in costume design. Here we go. Barbie. Yeah. Pillars of the Flower Moon. Yeah. Napoleon. Yeah. Oppenheimer. And four things. Okay. Not sure about Oppenheimer, but... The nominees for Achievement in Makeup and Hairstyling are... Golda. Okay. Maestro. Yeah. Oppenheimer. That makes sense. Okay. Four things. Mm -hmm. And Society of the Snow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For adapted screenplay, the nominees are. I heard Barbie was. American Fiction! Written for the screen yeah. by Corey I heard Barbie Jefferson. was supposed to be nominated in this in the original screenplay. Yeah. Written by Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach. Oppenheimer. Written for the screen by Christopher Nolan. Poor Things. Screenplay by Tony McNamara. No surprises there. And. The zone of oh, interest. okay. <laughs> All right. Interesting. And for original screenplay, the nominees are Anatomy of a Fall. Yes. Screenplay: Justine Trier and Artur okay. Harari. The Holdovers. Yep. Written by David Henningsen. Maestro. Written by Bradley Cooper mm -hmm. and Josh Singer. May December. Yes. By Sammy Birch. There we go. Story by Sammy Birch and Alex Mechanic. And past. Life. Yes. Written by Celine yes. Song. Okay. Now we're talking. Last before our break, the nominees for performance by an actress in a supporting role. Emily Blunt in Oppenheimer. Danielle Brooks in The Color Purple. Okay. America Ferrera in Barbie. Yes. Judy oh my Ponder goodness. In Nyad. And Divine Joy Rainbow Okay. All right. Congratulations to the nominees and All right. there are more. Okay. So that first half was uh, pretty good. I'm gonna check Gold Derby just to make sure I'm not like completely like missing a snub because that's like that's what's like going on behind like in my head right now, like making sure I didn't miss any snubs. 
the nominees for achievement in just music, waiting for the one that's gonna song. piss me off <laughs> the fire inside from flame and hot yes <laughs> wow that's <laughs> <laughs> Just Ken from Barbie. <laughs> what? It never went away from American Symphony. So are they not going to nominate the Billie Eilish song? Wajaji, a song for my people from Killers of the Flower yeah, Moon. Yeah, that's a good one. And what was I made for what? from Barbie? <laughs> that's hilarious. Next up. I love that. The nominees for Achievement in Music, Original Score. American Fiction. Okay. Indiana Jones. What the Killer of the Flower Moon. Okay. Oppenheimer. Obviously. And Poor Things. Okay. And for Best Animated Feature Film. Alright, Best Animated. Best Animated. <laughs> The Boy and the Heron. Yes. Elemental. Nimona. Oh, yes! Robot Dreams. Let's go. And Spider-Man. There it is. There it is. Here are the nominees. Very for happy with that. In production design. Very happy with that. Barbie. Yeah. Killers that should win, honestly. Moon. Sure. Napoleon. Okay. Oppenheimer. And poor things. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Few question marks. Next step for but... achievement in film editing. The nominees are. Okay. This is the maker Anatomy maker breaker. Okay. All of these are getting. The holdovers. Yes. Killers yes. of the Flower Moon. Yes. Oppenheimer. Mm hmm And Poor Things. Okay. You guys know what film editing means. That means whatever's not whatever was just nominated, that's what's getting nominated for Best Picture. Because you cannot win Best Picture if you're not nominated for Best Editing. That is a rule. That is a pattern that has been followed throughout the history of the Academy. So, um, now we know what's nominated for Best Picture. And I'm very glad that The Holdovers is part of that. Because I, I loved that movie. Loved it. And for achievement in sound, here are the nominees. <laughs> the Creator. Maestro. Okay. Mission Impossible to uh, Reckoning <laughs> Part 1. What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Where's Godzilla Minus 1? <laughs> Dude, that had amazing sound. I just noticed that dead, that Godzilla Minus 1 ha like hasn't gotten anything so far. Uh that's probably the major snub right now is Godzilla Minus One. That was phenomenal, by the way. Um, Mission Impossible? Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Oppenheimer. And the Zone of Interest. Oh, wow. Okay. Next, the nominees for achievement in visual effects. The Creator. Okay. Godzilla. Minus there you go. There you go. Guardians of the Galaxy, yes. Volume 3. Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part 1. What? Napoleon. Okay. <laughs> I'm not super on board with all the love for Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. <laughs> but I just... I guess that's the Avatar this year. Achievement in Cinematography. The nominees are... El Conde. Oh. Killers of the Flower Moon. Obviously. Maestro. 
Yeah. Oppenheimer. Yep. And poor and things. poor things. There you go. No surprises the there. By an actor in a leading role. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Bradley Cooper is my show. Yeah. Coleman Domingo is Okay. Paul Giamatti. Yes. Yes. Killian Murphy and Oppenheimer. That's probably who's going to win. And Jeffrey Wright. Oh. Oh. Fiction. Oh, okay. Okay, not bad. Let me check who I predicted. Uh, oh, I got all of them right. Damn, I did really good on on uh, Gold Derby, huh? I guess because it was an easy year to, retake, to predict this year. Um, last year was very weird, but that's what made last year so fun. But, yeah. Anyway, moving on. For performance by an actress in a leading role. Here we go. Anu Shut up. Benning in Naya. There we go. Yep. Lily Gladstone. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Sandra Julia in Anatomy of a Fall. Carrie Mulligan in My. Yes. Absolutely. And Emma Stone in Four Things. Can I just take a moment to say how much better Carrie Mulligan is than Bradley Cooper in Maestro? Holy crap. Not only, like, Bradley Cooper act, tried to act his ass off in that movie, but then Carrie Mulligan, with every scene she shared with him, just one-upped him every single time. I thought that was the funniest thing. Anyways... Um, yeah, really happy with this one. No disappointments here. For achievement in directing, the nominees are Justine Trier, Anatomy of a Fall. Okay. Martin Scorsese, Obviously. Of the Flower Moon. Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer. Again. Obviously. Yorgos Lanthimos, Poor Things. Yeah, yep. And Jonathan Glazer, the zone of interest. What's Greta Gerwig got to do to get nominated, guys? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Um, that's fine, I guess. And now for our final category. I Big picture. <laughs> Let's read them together. The nominees for Best Motion Picture of the Year are... American Fiction. There you go. Ben LeClaire, Nikos Paramigos, Cor Jefferson, and Jermaine Johnson, Producers. Anatomy of a Fall. La Vie Ange Luchari and David Thieu. Hello. Yeah. David Heyman, Margot Robbie, Tom Ackerley, and Robbie Brenner, producers. Makes sense. The Holdovers. There Mark we go. Robinson, producer. Killers of the Flower there Moon. There it is. Dan Friedkin, Bradley Thomas, Martin Scorsese, and Daniel Lupi, producers. Maestro, Bradley Cooper, Steven Spielberg, Fred Berner. Amy Durning and Christy McCosco Krieger, producers. Mm -hmm. Oppenheimer, mm -hmm. Emma Thomas, Charles Roven, and Christopher Nolan, producers. Past Lives. Dave yeah. Hosa, Here we go. Bessa, Past Lives, Game More Love. Coffler, producers. Poor Things. Ed yep. Guiney, Andrew Lowe, Yorgos Lanthimos, and Emma Stone. Producers. And the zone of interest. Okay. James Wilson, producer. All right. Congratulations. Okay. 
what a lineup we got here this year. Not a ton of surprises. I'm shocked uh, at how little surprises there are this year. Oh my goodness, I just realized there's nothing for Asteroid City. Uh, very interesting and very disappointing, honestly. I I wish that Godzilla got some more love, because um, that's a fantastic movie. Um, like if it was like if it wasn't gonna get like screenwriting or whatever, I like it should have at least gotten sound and in addition to visual effects, but whatever. Um, yeah, not too bad. As for who I want, um, as for I, as for who I want to win Best Picture, um, my personal pick is going to be. Uh, the holdovers for now that's gonna obviously change but uh, yeah I'm gonna spend a good amount of time uh, watching all of these and preparing for the big night it's a solid it's a solid roster if we're being honest unless there's like a film I'm forgetting or something I don't, I don't think I am Make sure you like if you did like it, subscribe for more content, share support, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.